what's up? I'm Rachel Starr, and this is Schizophrenia Managing Techniques, specifically for visual hallucinations. Number one, make sure that you are tracking your hallucinations, okay? Keep up with what's going on. Write them down. Write what type it is, okay? Write what medication you were on, you know, when you're having different ones. Write what's going on. Are you under a lot of stress? A really great way to do that, bam, is with to see in the dark. Um, this is my hallucination and delu delusion journal. Number two for dealing with visual hallucinations. Name them. What's the first thing you do when you get a pet? You name it, all right? You're um, pretty much making this hallucination yours, all right? Instead of it just being some ominous figure over there, be like, you know what? Your name is Jeff. Jeff. Jeff is the shadowy figure I see a lot of times in corners. Now, if you're wondering why do I gotta name it Jeff, name it something that's not scary, okay? It becomes a little easier, you know, to handle things if they have like a normal name or even like a stupid name. That's Mr. Fluff and Puff. Number three, acknowledge that the hallucination is there. Ignoring it will not make it go away, okay? So acknowledge it, look over, look, I'm seeing you, Jeff. Cool, you're hanging out over there, all right? Go about your business. You know, if it's bothering you, keep an eye on it, but you keep doing you because you are the one that's in control. I can't make my hallucinations go away, but I can get used to them. Remember, the goal isn't to make the darkness go away, but to learn to see the dark. I'm Rachel Stark.